Hi guys, I hope you're really well. Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tous très bien. Um, I'm in front of a really special uh, place. Alors moi je suis devant un endroit très spécial. So I came here uh, for drinks with somebody incredibly special last year. Alors moi je suis venu ici uh, pour, pour, pour boire un coup avec quelqu'un de très spécial l'année dernière. And unfortunately, the situation is kind of it's just it's just really problematic at the moment which is a shame because i've never enjoyed anybody's company more and i've never felt more comfortable with anybody but we've kind of got a bit of a problem because of a third person and this third person without being spiteful well why are you trying to be kind luke this third person is batshit crazy jealous um failed dancer um absolute creator of fiction of their own personal life super jealous of me and this original person and just just kind of wanted in and stupidly trying to help this person I let them in I did and it's just absolutely backfired and it has cost me more than I've ever lost anything now all of this is rather tragic but the fact is it's some really interesting vocabulary because it's taught me the word no it well, that's a silly thing to say it's it's got me using the word gaslighting because I'm being a little bit gaslit by this person so let's talk about this in English. So whenever you come across an expression, it's very useful to know what the etymology of the word is in English. So gaslighting comes from the 1930s, 20s play, which then became the film. So Gaslight, one of my grandma's films, she loved this. And in the film, the guy basically tries to convince the woman that she's nuts. Alors pendant ce film, effectivement, le mec, il essaie de convaincre la femme qu'elle est, elle est devenue folle. And so we have, therefore, this concept of when it used to traditionally be when a man used to basically misogynistically convince a woman that she, her feelings weren't valid and that she was making it all up and she was, you know, whatever. Um, but now it's pretty much widespread and the word is gaslighting. So we look at the French. Has French made it le gaslighting? Certainly not for the moment. I mean, happily not for the moment. Um, just across the road. Um, I'm just by Chilton Fire House, which is super, super popular in London. Um, so we would say la manipulation, manipulation, destructrice, destructive. Now, look at that adjective, destructrice. Destructive, conservative, protective. We think we know ifs in English, don't we? When they become French, we think we know, you know, active, 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 passive, um, passive, passive. I'm more active, but <laughs> I'd swap for love. And uh, yeah, and I need to remind myself that I am because I'm basically being treated like an, an absolute nothing by somebody at the moment. Um, but yeah, but the fact is, in French, these have become conservateur, conservatrice, destructeur, destructrice, uh, protecteur, protectrice. So beware of this little subgroup. We will also then say so, so la manipulation destructrice, a so destructive manipulation, will also talk about. Um, Harcèlement, harcelé, harcelé. Harcèlement is harassment, okay? Um, tu marcelles, you're harassing me. So, harcèlement psychologique, harcèlement psychologique, pss, is psychological harassment, which is a slightly different thing. Harcèlement often gets used in French for bullying, yeah? And then Canada has a great term, French Canadian. We tend to call it le détournement cognitif, so cognitive, you know, detouring of somebody to basically take someone on a different journey with their thoughts um, um, to turn their head so to speak now this is quite a good thing because this is what happens when somebody will gaslight somebody else vis-a-vis -vis somebody else as in kind of like they'll make out that one person is doing something when they're not to a third person third party which is what's happening to me <laughs> oh my god it's just insane completely insane it's just insane and the person is actually completely blatant about it to me like they literally said oh i'm really jealous i want in with you and this other person and i tried to be nice and they've just gone insane in absolutely insane um so yes it's rather unfortunate personal situation for me but do you know what let's look at the teaching benefits so we've got the word gaslighting okay i first heard this years ago when a, a student said i was gaslighting them because i said they're always tired for class I was like, dude, I think we need to change class. Change class time, you're amazing, but we need to do a different time. You're always too tired. We can't do your six in the morning. And she was like, you're gaslighting me. I was like, oh, I didn't know that word. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourselves, guys. Some new vocab.